Hi, everybody. I'm Joel Simmons for another Two Minutes Turf Talk. And today I want to talk about the trace element aluminum. Aluminum is the second most prevalent element in the Earth's crust, second to silicon only. It is a positive three charge element, which means it is reactive with other elements, especially anions like phosphorus and maybe sulfur, uh, and can tie up phosphorus in the soil if it's prevalent. Take a look at this soil test. Uh, the one here on the right you can see has an extremely high level of aluminum, almost 1,200 ppms, whereas the one on the left is more modest at only 410. And 410 is typically what we see or less than that. But when I see something this high, I usually get a phone call from the turf manager, and in this, in this case we did. And of course the question is, is this toxic? And the answer is generally no. Aluminum never gets toxic unless the pH is very low. It has to have a pH as low as 5 or lower for the aluminum to really become available and at which point it can be toxic. When I was researching aluminum for this turf talk, I came across this article that was written by some professors at Clemson called Aluminum Tolerances of 10 Warm Season Turf Grasses. And as you can see in the picture on the cover of this article, uh, you can see that the pH has to be in that low range to see any kind of level of, of concerns. So if you see levels of aluminum, don't be concerned unless you have a very low pH. The other way to reduce aluminum is to make sure that you have a strong organic matter content in your soil and or you are using a humic acid, much like our product Kick, which is a very strong humic substance product. Humic substances will actually neutralize aluminum in the soil and can help prevent them from becoming ever available to your plant material. So unless you have a very low pH, and lots of aluminum, don't worry about aluminum toxicity in your soils.